Now look at me, doing things I never do. Been over like a fool, yeah, yeah. Addicted to the way you move. I'm breaking all my rules. Look at me, saying things I never say. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's the day that we have been waiting for. It has been two weeks almost since I've moved into my new home and I've finally been getting my kitchen counters and my countertops installed today. I just wanted to take you through a little behind the scenes in case you were curious. So this is when they now brought in everything and they're installing everything. This took about three days in total to get everything done as you will see. It had quite a lot of work going into it, which is something that I truly did not know the scope of. So sit back, relax, grab something fun to eat or drink and come set up my kitchen with me. I used to get so insecure with you, it's different. Yeah, just something about you makes me so sure. Don't know what it is, but you make me want to stay. Take a leap of faith. I know that you save. I know that you save me. You'll be my parachute, baby. No, you'll catch me whenever I fall. I fall. It's like my lace is untied. So on the second day, they were putting up the floating shelves and this is something that I was so excited about. As soon as I was doing my kitchen, I knew immediately I wanted to have like the open concept floating shelves so I can have some of my glasses and bowls and just really nice fancy things. Okay, so on day three, we are finally putting on the actual kitchen countertop. And I was actually here for the whole time they were cutting it. And let me just say, it took a while because a lot of work actually goes into making sure that it fits the countertop and measuring it up and all of those things. So you're seeing them carefully putting it onto it. Then they're polishing up all the edges to make it really nice and smooth. And then you'll see him going in to measure for the kitchen sink. And then finally put in my kitchen sink, which I have been waiting for for the last two weeks. This video is actually going up on the third weekend that I'm here in my new home. So that is just something to celebrate, honestly. <laughs> Okay, my kitchen sink is in and I'm in love with the shape of it. I love the clean edges, the rectangular shape. I think it's very modern and stunning. This is a look at my counter as well as my cabinets itself. I did a white with gold hardware and this really beautiful marble countertop. And I know that my sink and my faucet are brushed nickel, but honestly, a white kitchen sink was so expensive. I really had to pick and choose my battles. But later on, I could always swap it out for a white sink and a matching gold hardware faucet. But I love how it looks. And like I said, I'm going to take my time, save up for that. But in the meantime, I have lots of other things that I want to prioritize in my new home. Oh my goodness, this is the moment we have been waiting for. As you would have seen in my last few clips, I was getting my kitchen counters finally installed. It's been a hot minute. It's almost three weeks that I'm living here and I did not have a kitchen sink and counter. So I'm so beyond excited to have it and I want to go ahead and kind of organize it with you. Over time, I definitely want to create more covered spaces and even maybe invest in like new kitchen items like storage and stuff like that because it's just been a learning process for me and I don't want to just be building cupboards just to encourage clutter because something that I've learned from living in my old apartment is how much I just want to make sure it's not to just be hoarding things and I just want to be really intentional with everything that I have right now. So right now this countertop here is just perfect for the amount of items that I have in it but of course over time we'll just see how it goes but I'm just really excited to take you guys along and organize it with you and let me know what you think. One thing that I knew that I wanted for sure was the pull out bin. I cannot stop like being in love with this because growing up I did not have this in my childhood home. I know that you might laugh but honestly for me this is like the biggest luxury in my kitchen right now to have my bin enclosed like this and able for me to you not know, have it out in the open away from my cats and just away like I feel like if a bin in the kitchen is such an eyesore so this is like my favorite part of my kitchen right now. So first up I am doing my cutlery. This is just everything from my old apartment that I have. So I am just putting it in here and I'm just gonna tuck all the random things on the side for now. I'll just put my chopsticks 
in some way. Okay. So for my second draw, I'm just gonna have like an assortment of things. I have my electric whisk. This is also what I use to make smoothies. So I just have the attachments here. I can definitely organize this a lot better later on, but this is what is gonna be working for now until I figure out what I want. My third draw, I just have some of the containers that I'm using. The rest of them I did do a little meal prep, so the rest of them are in the fridge, but I would just keep my Tupperware containers inside of this drawer for now. Okay, so in the last drawer, I'm gonna just put some of my miscellaneous bakeware items. This can definitely be organized a little bit better later on. You would honestly think I am some sort of great baker. Honestly, I don't even know how I accumulated all of these things. <laughs> I'm gonna be making a cake really soon for my cat's party. If you guys know, you know. So inside of here, I just have some of my bowls. I also have my pumpkin waffle maker. And then I also got my hot waffle maker that I cannot wait to use. Hopefully very, very soon. I didn't even open it as yet, you guys. Just add in some more of my dishes. Underneath that, I have some little bowls, and this is what I'm just keeping in here right now. Keep in mind that I need to get some more organization now that I've seen things more laid out, like it's just about getting the correct storage and containers to hold everything. Ready to play. So in the cupboard that is right next to my drawers, I have my only two pots that I ever use. I have my stovetop burner and underneath I have my juicers as well as some bottles where I would fill up my juice in. I really wanted to keep my juicer in a space of its own because it has a few pots and it's kind of big and bulky. So I'm really happy to just keep it at the bottom. At the same time, it's very easy for me to access it. And I know what you're thinking. Why do I have a stovetop burner? If you know, you know, I've never had a stove, not even in my old apartment. So I would only pull out my stovetop burner when I needed to cook something and then I have my toaster oven So those two things were all I ever needed Okay, now it is time to set up my countertop. This little nook is something that I have dreamt about for so long. I always told you guys like years ago when I first started getting my kitchen things and everything was pink that my style is grown up Bobby. So to just see everything finally, just as I always wanted it, come to life is just the best feeling. Let me know what you think. Who's gonna pay Much at stake. What would you give up? Change your face, look is it made, fuck all your face Love face down, but you're not down for me Down play when I say that I'm wanting more, 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 more What's it for? Keep score, but you keep me guessing But I guess that you keep it on the low, 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 low No, no, no Are you ready for this? Come on, come on, we can just go all in Are you ready for this? Next to my floating shelves, I might actually do a next cabinet because I do have a lot more glasses than I thought I did. So obviously they all can not fit on the floating shelves, nor do I want them to be on the floating shelves. So that is something that I will think about in the future, maybe when I'm adding my pantry to my kitchen. Show up at my door with some coffee and croissants, went to my favorite store, cause you could tell it's what I want. I can imagine more, it's been a dream. Oh my goodness, I have finally gotten my water pitcher that I thought I would include a little unboxing in this video. I've been drinking bottled water for months. I've never had a pitcher and this was the perfect pink shade of pitcher. I will have it linked down below. I am in love with it and this makes me feel so happy to not be having tons of like plastic bottles all over. And now I just go ahead and fill it up and pour it into my Stanley Cup dupe, which you guys, I did unbox that in one of my videos before. It's so good, but I'm truly so excited. I guess this is what adulting is when you get excited because you find the perfect shade of pink for a water filter.
So on top here there is a little LED light and when it's blue it's good and then it flashes red if it needs to change or something like that. When that time comes I will think about it but this is how it looks. Oh my gosh, look how cute my counter space is looking. Let me know what you think. Let me know what additional storage I might not have thought about that I might need. I'm so excited. This has been like weeks in the making and I knew for sure I wanted that slide and bin that you would have seen. I knew I wanted the drawers for like my cutlery as well as like any other bits and pieces. I cannot wait to start back doing all of my really nice cooking videos, especially on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, I do a ton of like Instagram reels with recipes that are really healthy. I have just been eating so poorly for the last few weeks and months in this entire moving process. So I finally got a chance to receive stock all of my groceries and I made a really nice salad for lunch and I felt so good and so happy in my new space. I'm thinking about putting a cabinet here because the weight of the things that I have on the shelf is kind of like dropping it a little bit but if I put a cabinet I can like bolt everything together so I will just see how that goes and that is just something again to think about. All in all I'm really really happy so I hope that you enjoyed this video as well as the behind the scenes look at actually how it was done and you know I just learned so much in this process about what I liked, what I didn't like, as well as the amount of work that actually goes behind, you know, installing it and building and all of those things. It's just about finding little compartments here and there for me when I'm organizing my stuff in the upcoming months and just being really excited about that. So thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it. I hope that you did. Don't forget to also subscribe so you won't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.